So if you want to boost your FPS from this to this in Anifall, so this is going to be a complete test and comparison of each and every graphic settings present in this game. We're going to find out the best settings for your GPU and in the end I'm going to provide my own optimized settings. So without wasting any further time, let's jump into it. So first of all, this game do not offer us with any kinds of upscalers like DLSS, FSR or XCSS and neither frame generation, which is kind of surprising because nowadays every game offers us with some kinds of upscalers, but this game runs completely natively and while only giving us the option of render scale. And in the display setting, we can see our first setting, which is async compute. And in my testing, this setting does not do anything either in performance or graphics. So leave it on or off, whatever, as it does not do anything. So for the anti-aliasing quality, this game definitely suffers from some poor anti-aliasing and you will see shimmery effect and the edges all around the screen and so the only option here is to set this to ultra and even on ultra the image is still not perfect. So next is the shadows quality which will determine the detailing you will see on the shadows and here we have the four options low, medium, high and ultra and in my testing low, medium and high performs the same and gives the same FPS but however if we switch to ultra then the performance will drop and you can see the significant performance drop. So in my opinion keep this on medium or high to avoid the performance drop. Next is the reflections quality which will determine the detailing you will see on the reflective surfaces and reflections and same like shadows we have the four options low, medium and high and also ultra and here just like shadows low, medium and high performs the same but on ultra you will see significant performance drop. So for the best keep both shadows and reflections on medium or high to avoid the performance drop and avoid the ultra setting. Next is draw distance quality which will determine how far and how more detailed the game will look when you see from distance and this setting is the most important setting in the entire game as with every preset the FPS drop is massive. Just going from medium to high we lost 10 FPS and more if we switch to ultra. So for the best keep it on medium to avoid the performance drops because setting to high massively drops the FPS so keep it on medium or low. So next up is the textures quality which will determine the detailings you will see on the surfaces and objects throughout the game and this setting is simple because it does not directly affect the performance but instead the VRAM utilization of your GPU. So go as high as your VRAM can allow and we can see there is a clear improvement in graphics with each and every preset where the low looks the worst. So if you have a 6 GB or more you can easily go with ultra textures here. Next is water detailing quality which will change the quality of the water in the game and in short keep this on lower medium as you can see the performance drops with each and every preset and is drops significantly but the quality of the water does not change for some reason and on ultra it drops even further so just keep it on low on medium for best. Screen space shadows and context shadows are two of the most important settings in this game as these both settings will drastically change the graphics of this game. When these both are turned off, the game looks completely empty and dull and looks like a PS3 game. But when these both of these settings are on, the game looks much much better and filled. So it's highly recommended to keep both of these settings on on no matter what. Tessellation quality which should help the image to look more smoother than before but in my testing it does not do anything either with performance or visuals and everything remains the same and performs the same either on or off so you can leave it on on or off whatever. In the end we have the ray traced soft shadows options which will either enable or disable ray traced soft shadows and here you can see the clear performance difference between enabled and disabled so I do recommend keeping this on off for best performance. So finally after testing and comparing each and every graphics settings in the game, here are my optimized settings to get the best possible performance while maintaining good graphics quality. And as always you can change graphics settings according to your GPU and you can also find all of these settings written down in the pinned comment. So here is a quick comparison between the ultra versus optimized settings. So here is the game continue running on the ultra possible graphics settings and here is with my optimized settings. The graphics looks very similar to what we were getting on ultra but the performance is almost double from 40 to 60 fps. So that's all in my opinion and I hope this video was helpful to find the settings for your GPU and play Atomfall with the best stability possible. 
So this video took me almost two days to make from recording to editing. So I hope this was helpful and if it was, subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thanks for watching and bye.